Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna go over one worked example covering the relationship between diffraction and wavelength. We're also gonna get practicing diffraction diagrams too. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my other video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you know about diffraction to this one. So let's get going. Now, in our one and only question, it says explain why a house located behind a hill might receive a better radio signal than TV signal. Justify your answer using a labeled diagram. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split our page into two. So we're going to have TV waves on the left and radio waves on the right. And because it mentions a hill and a house located behind a hill, we're going to draw both a hill and a house for both situations. So we've got a hill and a house and a hill and a house there. Now what we're going to do is start drawing our diffraction diagrams. So we're going to be drawing TV waves on the left and radio waves on the right. We're going to draw these using straight lines as these represent the wave fronts of the wave. So over here, let's start by drawing two wave fronts and you'll notice that they're quite close together. And remember the distance between two adjacent wave fronts is actually the wavelength. So the wavelength is the distance between these two things. So when we're drawing diffraction diagrams, remember we need to keep the spacing between the wave fronts the same, i.e. keeping the wavelength the same. So we're then gonna continue our lines. And if you're drawing this on paper, you can just draw the straight lines going after the hill first of all. We are going to add the bends on afterwards. Okay, and now let's add the bends on. So you'll notice that we have more bending as the waves go along. And one thing to point out here is that you'll notice the waves have not actually quite reached the house and that's gonna become important later on. So now let's jump over to the radio waves and do the exact same as what we just did for TV waves. So let's draw our first two waves. Okay, but this time notice that the distance between the two waves, i.e. my wavelength, is much bigger this time. The reason we've drawn the radio waves to have a bigger wavelength is because you might remember from the electromagnetic spectrum that radio waves have a slightly longer wavelength than TV waves, and so we've represented that in our diffraction diagram. So we've got these two straight lines separated by a bigger distance than before, and if we continue those lines, again just keeping the straight lines for now, then we can add our bends on, you notice in this case, because we've got a bigger wavelength, the waves are gonna diffract more. And you'll see that the waves over here are much more likely to reach any kind of aerial that you have on your house. Whereas for the TV waves, they're not quite reaching any aerial that you might have on your house there. The last thing to do now that we have our diagram is just to do our explanation. So the first thing we can say is that radio waves have a slightly longer wavelength than TV waves, and this is because longer wavelengths diffract more than shorter wavelengths. So we've shown that and justified it with our labeled diagram there. That's all from me, folks. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.